Alan T. Rave from t-rave.com bringing you an early uh, movie review. Uh, well, I got to see a movie a lot earlier than launch, and that is Dinner for Schmucks. Now, Dinner for Schmucks comes out July 30th uh, of this month, obviously, so it's about a half a month away and a little bit over that, but it, it stars Steve Carell and uh, uh, <laughs> I forgot his name, uh, Paul Rudd. Sorry, Paul Rudd. Um, it also has uh, some other big-time actors, um, people you'd you'd recognize right off the bat. One of them is uh, one of the guys from Flight of the <laughs> Flight of the Concords, and then also Zach Galifianakis makes his appearance. And like I said, there there are a few other people that you may recognize. Now, like I said, it comes out July thirtieth, and uh, you know it's a comedy. It, it is a comedy. Uh, Paul Rudd being the the, the main actor, um, runs into, or he's up for a promotion, um, and basically they're having a dinner, the higher-ups in the company is having a dinner, and he has to basically find an idiot, where he then runs into Steve Carell's character, who is, um, just eccentric <laughs> about his art, uh, let's just put it that way without revealing too much, um, I will try staying away from spoiling anything, but that, that's, that's the, that's the line of it, and so basically, um, Steve Carell just basically invades, uh, Paul Rudd's life, um, and because he's just kind of oblivious to all things and just doesn't, you know, inter interact well, um, a lot of things starts to happen, hence the comedy, um, as well as some of the points where even, like, you, you feel like you're like, there's no way. Yep, he just did that. Um, I think Steve Carell's character, I, I thought the acting was was really good. Um, it's one of those, it, it felt like Paul Rudd, um, in most of his other movies, or, you know, like, uh, I Love You Man, very similar character, kind of a similar, kind of a similar, uh, storyline, just, you know, with him and, uh, his, his, per, uh, his girlfriend in the movie, um, Steve Carell, it's one of those characters that, it's not Michael Scott from The Office, where you're just like, oh my gosh, completely, but it's also not Brick, from Anchorman, it's kind of a in between, like really stupid slash just oblivious slash. This guy has no idea what he's doing. Um, he nailed the part. I thought uh, he the delivery of the lines were great. There was a lot of funny stuff in it. Um, the so yeah, it, it is a movie that you will go to and laugh your butt off for pretty much the whole time. However, the problem is it is a very long movie, and that's where it kind of like there was some parts where I was like, "Wow, this is like we're not even to the dinner part," you know, the dinner that they keep referencing to. They just kept kind of going with stuff, and it was like it wasn't bad. It wasn't too strenuous where you're like, "Oh, I've kind of lost them." But, um, it did, when I walked out, I was like, really? That was, like, almost two hours long. Um, that, that's kind of not called for. Um, but, you know, they, they kept me laughing. Um, the other part, one of the things that I kind of, I kind of walked out and I was like, it's, it's one of those really funny movies, but I don't think I'm going to read, unless a group of people drag me to it, not drag me, but, you know, are going to see it and I just feel in a funny mood. Yeah, sure. I think it's one of those you will watch and you will laugh, but it's not you will want to go again and again and again to see. I think the the comedy parts, the hilarity of it, kind of almost covered up the the. Re Actually, I thought it was a pretty good storyline. The the actual storyline, just how um, Steve Carell's character is, why he is kind of uh, his backstory, and you know, uh, Paul Rudd's is kind of very surfacey. His, his storyline, um, but I thought Steve Carell's, his was kind of more deeper, that can easily be, you know, overlooked, um, just because of just all the funny things um, that is happening. So, it is a movie that, when it launches, I think it's a great group movie to go see it with a bunch of friends, laugh, um, say some jokes afterwards, maybe uh, quote some of the lines, but it, I, it's definitely not like The Hangover uh, for me. The Hangover I watched like like about four times in the theater. This is I got my laughs out, and it was just kind of like, all right, that was that was that's good to watch. All right.
Um, so definitely, I would say go out and see it. Definitely, you know, if you're looking for a comedy, if you like comedies like that, um, like I said, the acting was really good. Uh, it did get a little long, but. Um, yeah, is a, is a good movie. So that is my short little review or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Over Dinner for Schmucks coming out July 30th.